Okay, let's do grips. This is my grip bag. And by grip bag, I mean the bag my Invisalign trays came in. It's like the perfect size. It has a drawstring. It's exactly what I needed. Should I get a new one? Maybe. Am I getting another one? No, not right now because it works. The three things I need to get my hands ready for bars are wristbands, athletic tape, and the grips themselves. Let me point this down a little bit. Oh my god, I literally broke the tripod. Okay, I need another setup. Thanks, Loha, whoever this is. Ugh, anyways. Okay, so there's two main types of grips for female gymnasts. There's like buckle ones or Velcro ones. I prefer the Velcro. It seems as though this was like everyone my age, my generation of gymnastics had like in the early 90s, at least at my gym and my surrounding gyms that were like in the area. But a lot of people that I train with now who were like a few years after me, cause like I'm 36 right now, but a lot of the gymnasts it seems to be between like 18 to like 25 or 30 or whatever, all wear buckle grips, either one or two buckles here. And the thing with buckle grips, is obviously like once you set them for the day they're set so like they for most as far as i know and is like what i observe they're on there you don't mess with them all day i mess with these so much every single turn and i don't hate it it has to be that way and i'll like undo and redo them between every turn because otherwise i don't feel secure and i'm sure i'll be showing you right now like how i actually put them on but the wristbands are just i like the nike baseball ones are a little longer i actually don't know if they're sports specific but like nike makes tons and tons of tons of like these little baby ones but because of how low i like to wear my grips like kind of down here but then also i need to protect my wrist too when it like pulls up like this i need the longer wristband some people can use short ones. Most people I know, and especially me, need the longer ones. It doesn't have to be Nike. It's just like really easy to find and like standard. I go through tons of them because I tape my grips. That's not normal either, but like look at how fuzzy they get. Cause I, I go through like four or five of these a year, pairs of these because they get the hair frays a lot from me taping them. Taping is not a normal thing. Sorry, and again, I'm sure I'm showing you a video right now of me at gymnastics doing it. But I do that, again, because I like wearing my grips low and I don't want them sliding up any more than they like kind of naturally already do when I'm swinging. Oh, a note on the tape. I like to use, for my grips, Kramer tape. Can you see that? Kramer brand tape. Because it's not very sticky. Look, sorry to whoever makes this brand, but when I put this on my skin, it sucks. It comes off really easily. It does not stick very well. It doesn't stick to itself very well even. But for bars, because it grips the fuck out of, I mean, any tape would, right? It's fuzzy. I also Velcro it down. If I use a really, a higher end stickier tape, then this frays even quicker and it literally has no effect on my bar performance. So I get these because they sell them at our, in Texas. We have this amazing sporting goods store called Academy and they sell this by the six pack there and that's what I get. Again. Great for what I use it for, for bars. Not great if you actually have an injury and want to be protected and don't want to waste it and have to redo it all the time. And again, sorry, Kramer. That's just what I think. But hey, I buy you all the time because you fit my needs for this particular thing. It's just when I'm hurt, you kind of suck. Okay, so back to the grips, the Velcro grips. I use, you. oh man, you can't even see it. I've used this brand Rice Sports literally since I was 10 years old, over a couple decades now. I'll link to these grips in the description box so you can see, but it has like a logo here. I wear a lady size two, also been wearing that since I was like 12. Most girls that I know that wear their grips up here, their, their shit is pretty short, like their leather part. Mine is pretty long and I stretch it again because when I wear my grips, as I said, I wear them kind of down here. I don't wear them up here. And I know that's like a half inch as you're like watching this, but it makes a huge difference. If I try to wear, if I try to like not adjust my grips or wear them like where they're supposed to conventionally go, I feel like I'm holding this. Like I don't feel like I'm gripping the bar itself. I feel like some shit's in my way. I feel like that's a little bit common amongst people who do wear Velcro grips. In this whole tape situation, I know girls who have a way more complicated situation, but again, I'm sure that's why coaches push their athletes toward the buckle grips early on, but I just didn't. It goes on these two fingers. This is called a dowel and it just helps, as you can see, it's like shaped. I store mine in a shape so that they like form, they, you know, cause it's leather. So it like adjusts and like fits really well. Ignored like pit foam stuck in there. But this is 
how it looks, a gymnastics grip, yeah. And, like, and I can't even, like, I can't even straighten my fingers, which again, I'm sure contributes to, like, most people wear it up here and can straighten. I like to have mine down here, and I can't straighten them. And halfway through bar workouts, there's, like, my whole hand is red and veiny and disgusting, but that's just how I like to do bars. These little guys kind of keep you secure. The little tabs. These finger holes are super tight when you first buy your grips. You have to like stretch them out. I have to get new grips pretty often because of how often I Velcro and unvelcro and shit. I'm sure not for like a lead NCAA gymnast, whatever, but like for me and my friends that I work out with, they can have their grips for many, many years. Me, I got like one or two years in me before I need more because the Velcro starts wearing out. When the Velcro wears out, I know some people will buy like little rubber bands or something just to wear over the Velcro to keep it secure. I'm not like that. I, it freaks me out to have anything hold besides like fresh ass Velcro. And now that it's off, like I said, I, I always make sure to store them the way that I want them folded. And this is how I put them in the bag and let them come out of the bag. Boom. And that's it. I just love swing bars and I just wanted to tell you about my grips. Black Friday workout, Black Friday workout. Look at this. So happy. Having the time of my life. Speaking of the time of my life.